Today I'm going to show you how to roast coffee beans using the dog bowl heat gun method. This isn't the only way of roasting coffee beans at home, but I think it's a very easy way. Some of the things that you'll need are some uh, green coffee beans. I bought these off Amazon. They taste pretty good, pretty inexpensive. You'll need a dog bowl, right, uh, or some other stainless steel thing to hold your beans in while you roast them. Then you also need a heat gun and a box fan and also some type of mesh material to put over the fan to cool your beans down when we're done and I'll show you those in a minute. So this is the heat gun I use. It's just a regular uh, porter cable heat gun. You could get it at Walmart, I think we got this at. Right here is we have uh, our cooling station. So it's just a box fan with a uh, little kind of mesh thing I built to keep the beans from falling over the side these wood pieces and then it's just kind of on some uh, I think these are two by sixes if you lay the fan flat on the ground you're not gonna get enough airflow to uh, actually get air onto the beans to cool them down All right, our next step is to pour some green coffee beans into our container some people are very precise about this I found that it doesn't really matter that much to me From here, we'll use our heat gun to uh, go ahead and start heating up these beans. All right, so while we do this, we wanna constantly stir these beans while they're being heated to make sure that it's very even across all the beans. A lot of people will hold the heat gun in one hand and hold like a wooden spatula or stainless steel spatula in the other hand to stir. I kinda just use the end of the heat gun to stir. I feel like it's a little bit easier for me. I can play on my phone on the other hand or whatever I wanna do and just use one hand to do the entire process. So this does take a while, and these beans do produce some chaff that flies everywhere. So this is uh, not a very clean job. There will be a lot of chaff and a lot of smoke, so it does make a big mess. You never want to do this inside. All right. So uh, while we do this, you should know that there are three different cracks that happen while we roast these beans. So the first crack, if we stop and we cool them off immediately after that, that would make a light roast coffee. If we go uh, a little bit after the second crack that's a medium roast coffee and then if we go all the way to the third crack that would make a dark roast all right so as soon as we get to the point where we want to stop we're going to immediately take our container and dump all of the beans onto our uh, cooling station over there all right Getting right to it so heat these beans Already starting to get some chaff, get some smoke. It really smells like coffee. Starting to get tons of chaff at this point. You see they're starting to get a little bit more brown. I don't like chaff. Getting a little bit more brown. Starting to kind of look like two necks. See, there's a mess everywhere. Now at the first crack stage. I don't know if you can hear over the heat gun, but some of these are starting to crack. This is the first crack. Once all these are cracked, it'll be a light roast. Starting to get into the second crack here. 
Once the second crack is over, I'm going to go a little bit further, but not go into the third crack. And then I'm going to speed them down since I want a medium roast. Alright, so I'm right past the second crack with these. So I'm just going to shift back a little bit. I'm about to stop. Once I'm done, I'm immediately going to transfer these beans over to the cooling station. Alright, I've transferred these beans over to my little cooling station. I've got the fan on high. And I'm just going to really try to rapidly cool these beans down. And this uh, will get you know, the rest of the shaft that I've uh, never left the hole that I was heating the beans in. So get rid of it now. Once these are uh, done cooling down, which doesn't take very long, I'm going to go ahead and transfer them. All right, here we have our uh, finished product of our roasted coffee beans. Stop feeding that dog. And uh, I just wanted to end this video by saying some things that I wish I would have known the first time I did this. The first thing is to use a bigger bowl than you think that you'll need for roasting the beans because uh, while you're stirring them, you don't want to lose a lot of beans by them falling out and going onto the ground. The second is that the uh, crack can last about five minutes. So whenever you're trying to judge by first crack or second crack to see where you want your roast to be, you know, that crack could last potentially, you know, up to five minutes. So you don't want to get confused between your first crack and your second crack and then not have your uh, coffee be the way you want it to be. And the third thing is to not drink this right away. So, uh, you know, wait 12 to 24 hours before you grind this up and to start drinking it because these beans will continue to release some gases and it will affect the way that they taste. All right, if you have any uh, tips or comments or anything, uh, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.